Welcome to our eSpecs Essentials Training Course. This course will cover the basics of eSpecs, with the goal of attendees being able to successfully create, edit, and finish projects after completing this series. Let's get started by learning how to create a project. Note this will be the first video for creating a project start to finish in eSpecs. Items stored within a project include specification sections, project notes, project files, and section markups. eSpecs provides project-centric reports for submittals, quality assurance, and executive summaries. To create a new project, select New Project from the File menu. Choose the proper project group from the drop-down selections in order to group the project with other similar project types. If you need to add a new project group, select New Project Group and type in the appropriate name. Note that required fields are indicated with an asterisk. Enter the project number and project name. Project information entered in these fields can later be reused in headers or footers, or in section body text. Select the building type, construction budget, and lead level to provide more informative data for other project team members. This data can be consolidated by running the project status report found under Tools, which lists all projects and project groups on the eSpec server. Also enter the project address. and any other project information in the expanded dialog as the information in these fields can also be reused throughout the project's documents. The Project Settings tab allows the user to select the units of measure and the section number format for the project. Note that units of measure and section number format can be changed at any point in the project. Users can also reset the style guide, which will override the project group default style guide for the current project. Note the default output path for all information exported out of the eSpecs project. Consider resetting this output path at project creation so you automatically export to the correct project folder on your network. You are able to return to this dialog later by selecting the Project Properties from the Project menu to reset options or change project data at a later time. Select Create to execute this command. Next, we will discuss adding sections to your new project. 